thank you both for being here. Indeed. And those are your brothers. Those are my brothers. It's yeah. A bunch of one. And you got another one that has a song with Whitney Houston on the charts. And BB and CC. BB and CC. Right. I'd like to get him, them here one day to turn the place out. Thank you to everybody, all my guests. Tomorrow night, you know who will be here. But if they wasn't here, you'd be here, because I'm here. <laughs> I'll see you then. Let's go home. Air Geometrics. Five interchangeable styling heads create zigzags, spirals, triangles, crimped, or straight hair. You can be confident if it's Con Air. Ricola, the all-natural herb cough drop imported from Switzerland. Ricola soothes the throat and relieves coughs naturally for over 60 years. Sticklets is the naturally flavored gum that gives you more sticks per pack than any other gum. Natural flavor, more sticks, Sticklets. Tums, the antacid tablet that gives you fast, effective heartburn relief and is rich in calcium. It's Tum to Tum Tum Tums, used only as directed. Hotel accommodations arranged by Best Western. For reservations at any of the Best Western hotels, motor inns, and resorts in the U.S. and Canada, call toll-free Best Western. Finally, the New Jersey school principal who used a baseball bat to make a point is about to hit the theaters now. Joe Clark's no-nonsense approach gained national recognition, and tonight, Channel 2's Randall Pinkston reports on Clark's debut as a tough guy in the movie Lean On Me. This was a big night for Principal Joe Clark and a big night for Patterson, New Jersey. The premiere of Lean On Me a movie based on Clark's real-life experiences turning around a troubled inner-city school. There are 300 teachers on the faculty here. You do not do it all alone. I don't have to stay here and listen to these accusations. You... What does this movie mean for you, for the school, for the city, for the community? It means for me that America, the system, works. It means to me that anyone who has determination can aspire to great heights. Principal Joe Clark, Patterson hero, yes, but a hero surrounded by controversy. His years at Eastside High School not only marked by achievement, but marred by controversy. This was one tense moment just over a year ago when Clark was brought up on charges by the Patterson Board of Education for expelling students who didn't want to come to school. Clark was cleared, and tonight the controversy was behind him. I say to the people, they should go there and see the love that Mr. Clark had with the students. I think Mr. Clark is a very good man. All of this before they saw the movie. So apparently, no matter how well it does in the box office, Lean On Me is already a hit in Patterson. In Patterson, Randall Pinkston, Channel 2 News. And that does it for us. Thanks to Maalox Plus. Ask your doctor about extra strength Maalox Plus. Joe Clark did not come by fame subtly. He did it with a bullhorn. He's the Patterson, New Jersey high school principal who President Reagan cited for his unique brand of discipline. He made the cover of Time magazine. And now Warner Studios is about to release Joe Clark, the movie. They call it Lean on Me. People, you are not going to save. They are incorrigible. The only thing I know to do with them is find another abode for them. In the movie, Joe Clark is played by Morgan Freeman. These people are incorrigible. And since none of them could graduate anyway, you are all expurgated. You are dismissed. You are out of here forever. I wish you well. Morgan Freeman this morning joins us from our NBC affiliate in Savannah, Georgia, WSAV-TV. And good morning. Thank you for being here. 
Joe Clark was uh, Joe Clark was on location because you shot this picture in the actual high school, East Side High in Patterson. Did yeah. he did he carry that bullhorn? Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, that's a third arm. And during the shoot. During the shoot. Mm -hmm. Yes. It, it, during the shoot, the school was in session. He was there. And was so, he? How involved in the shoot was he? Is what I'm getting at. Oh well. He wasn't involved in the shoot at all. He was involved in doing his job, which was running Patterson, running, running uh, Eastside High. Last uh, June, Joe Clark said about you, he's a good actor, but I don't think anybody can fully portray me. Having heard that, did you take this role with any reservations? No, none at all. Uh, of course, I was a little overwhelmed with the fact that I was trying to play a man who was there, and... Um, a man of so much energy and power, but uh, he was very helpful to me. And uh, do you I think you I proved him okay. wrong? Do you think you satisfied him with your portrayal? I don't. You have to ask him that now. That's his question to answer. <laughs> <laughs> here in New York with me is Norman Twain, the show's producer. And good morning. Thank good morning, you for Jane, being here. Um, the director of your your picture, John Abelson. Abelson. Uh, also directed Rocky and the Karate, Karate Kid, Kid pictures one, one and two. two. They were both about fairy tale heroes. Right. Have you done a story here about a fairy tale hero? We're a happy ending. We're a happy ending. Um, uh, a fairy tale. John and I sometimes think it's a fairy tale. It's a wonderful film. I love it. But it is an entertainment. It is not for the audience to assume it's a documentary about education in America or Patterson. New right Jersey on. Today. I mean, we, we did not do a documentary. We did an entertainment. We did a movie. We didn't even do a film. We did a movie. And we love it. We ha we're happy with it. In, in, in movie dumb, you can make the movie and happy if you want to. Tell me about the East Side High you found in real life. Is, is there a happy ending to be told? Oh, I, I think so. I, I think that there's. Uh, I mean, I'm a Joe Clark watcher from way back, and there is a lot of controversy. But in our film, the superintendent of education says there's a light in those kids' eyes that wasn't there before, and that's true. Uh, I think that because of this guy, not everybody's going to come out of that school and be president, uh, but I think because of him, you're going to see a lot more people uh, integrate in the big society that we have, doctors, lawyers, teachers writers because of this guy's efforts. He does care. Morgan Freeman, the character you portrayed, you're Joe Clark. Is he heroic or is he a flawed hero? Well, it doesn't matter if he's flawed. I think he's very heroic, though. Um, he's you, you, he's uh, undertaking um, a big job, and that's, I mean, the job is, has heroic proportions, and uh, the man who shoulders that load, I think, is a hero. I think of him as such. And you admire his, his, his education techniques? His educational technique, his, his, I admire his, his approach to children, his caring, his, uh, his interest. Uh, it's, it's total. I admire that. As we said, you actually shot the, the whole film. You spent two years of your life at, Just about, at Eastside right. High School. Did you leave it better than you found it? I think so. It was pretty good when we got there. We, uh, the Warner Brothers Art Department, trashed the school. I mean, what you see in the film is the result of many hours of people getting off on graffiti. We trashed the school and then restored it back. In terms of school pride, do you think it will be better for having a story told on Absolutely. the big screen? Absolutely. I hope you're right about that. I hope so, too. And thank you both for being with us. Morgan Freeman, have a nice day. We'll be back after station break. contain soon. Joe Clark is not one to contain his emotions, never has before, and he loved the movie about him, but does Pat Collins. She's here to review Lean on Me, the movie about the bat-toting Patterson principal. This is where the story begins with Morgan Freeman as Joe Clark. It's 1982. Clark has taken on the thankless job of principal at Eastside High. The school is in a state of emergency. You are all expurgated. You are dismissed. You are out of here forever. Joe Clark started by throwing out 300 drug dealers and hoodlums, the incorrigibles, he called them, who preyed on the good kids. He bought a bullhorn and a baseball bat. They used to call me crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman. Joe Clark took no prisoners, chastised teachers for not delivering, and was toughest on kids on drugs for throwing away their lives. Don't you smoke crack? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. 
Do you know what that does to you? Huh? No, sir. It kills your brain cells, son. It kills your brain cells. Morgan Freeman plays Joe Clark, as the media has shown him. Dedicated to his kids, passionate about education, but also tyrannical, overzealous, and insensitive. Flaws and all, Clark still emerges as a genuine American hero. Clancy, report to my office. Yo, Mr. Clark, I was just fooling around. Gotcha. Director John Avildsen has given Joe Clark the same underdog wins big treatment he gave Rocky and the Karate Kid. And with an incredible performance by Morgan Freeman, has made a movie that grabs you the very first second and, like Joe Clark himself, never lets up. But you can turn that around and make liars out of those bastards in exactly one hour. And, you take that test and, and we will be taking a look at how the real-life Joe Clark is doing a little bit later on in the broadcast. This area, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. See you Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Russ. Oh, let's see. Nice transition here. Joe Clark, he's getting his share of the national line mail. He has troubles closer to home, however. The Patterson City Council voted this week to censure the Eastside High School principal. The reason a performance put on at the school last month, a dance show that some call risque. It was a show where composed on dancing and singing. And then a little stripping got into it. It wasn't a strip show. It was a rap show. Drug well, Clark was out of town, reportedly in Hollywood the at the time. Is that, a, uh, that he knew very well uh, that a uh, stage show was going to be put on. Uh, he knew the content of the stage show, and uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, without censoring, uh, that stage show should not have gone on. It chagrins me, in fact, that the city council uh, has been so banal, so insipid, so meager-minded, I mean, they are acting as though they suffer from lacerated brains. First of all, they can't fire me, so they should stop flapping their lips. City Councilman Hayden, meanwhile, says that he wants a full-scale investigation. That's straight ahead on Good Day New York. Live from Eastside High School in Patterson, New Jersey, I'm John Buchan. Coming up, Principal Joe Clark, known for his hardball tactics here, is a hero in the new movie, Lean on Me. But the principal is angry about the publicity he's been getting on the new film. And to make matters worse, the Patterson City Council has voted to dump him. We'll speak to Joe Clark live and find out what's going on here at Eastside High School. Good day, New York. And good morning. Very much. Uh, going now to uh, Patterson, New Jersey, you remember the uh, controversial principal there, Joe Clark. Well, our John Buchan is with him there right now, and uh, Joe is the inspiration for a brand new movie that opens uh, real soon. Joe, John? Okay, thank you very much. And uh, we are here actually in the hallway of East Side High in Patterson, New Jersey. We're not with Joe Clark yet, the controversial principal. We will be soon. You know, uh, the hallways are empty right now, but in just a matter of time, some 3,000 students are going to be streaming into the school here. And it's quite a school. You know about Joe Clark, the famous uh, principal here in Esai. He started uh, with baseball bats and yelling at the students, and it's a clean school, by the way. Don't get thrown by this piece of graffiti of a ghost. That's the only graffiti I found in this whole school, and it's the graffiti that's supposed to be here. It's sponsored by the school. They call themselves the Esai Ghost, so this is allowed. We're gonna go in and talk to Joe Clark. Now, as we go in, though, I want you to take a look at a clip from the movie Lean On Me, which is, uh, recently opened around the New York area to give you an idea of uh, just what kind of 